In this video, I want to talk about how I use the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K to record my YouTube videos and how I get great audio using two microphones, both inputs of the camera. I'm going to show you how to do it. So I don't have a lot of time to make these videos, but I really, really want to do it. So I have tried to find a way to make it as easy and as fast as possible, very little setup time so that I can have an idea, set everything up, go for it, start recording it, quick edit, and get them out. In an effort to do this, I have um, taken some advice from a couple of other people on YouTube, including uh, Caleb Pike over at uh, DSLR Video Shooter, and I've tried to do a one-stand setup uh, that can easily move out into the to the room whenever I'm ready to do a video or move away whenever I need to do something else. So uh, part of this is good lighting. I have a, a decent uh, soft light here um, and a, uh, a good way for audio um, to be recorded. And so what I am doing here is uh, I have a uh, SM7B uh, fantastic microphone uh, hooked onto um, a little um, boom arm um, like this. All right. So um, get that back out of the frame. Uh, and I also have a uh, lavalier microphone uh, that is just plugged directly into the camera. It's not wireless or anything at this point, but uh, I probably will go there uh, at some point uh, just for convenience. I have this, uh, the SM7B, uh, run into a, a box called a cloud lifter, and so what that does is uh, it uh, boosts the signal of this microphone. This microphone is great, um, has a great tone for voice, uh, but it needs a little bit more uh, juice behind it for most microphone preamps. So the good thing about the Blackmagic camera is that it has a mini XLR input uh, and it can provide the phantom power for this microphone or actually for this cloud lifter box. Uh, so uh, I have the SM7B run into the cloud lifter box and then from there I have a uh, short uh, XLR to uh, micro XLR uh, cable plugged into the camera and then I have the phantom power for that uh, input turned on. Then I have the uh, lavalier microphone run through a cable and it is plugged into the uh, other eighth inch jack on the side of the camera. Um, and I believe it's a powered uh, lapel mic. It's just a cheap one from Best Buy, I believe. Um, the audio quality is not fantastic, but it's great to have as a backup. Uh, and just to add, kind of add to the sound. So um, now I'll give you an example of what they sound like, uh, each one. So this is some audio with the SM7 um, with the lavalier turned off. This is what that sounds like. This is the bulk of the sound. Um, this is where it has most of the um, lower mid-range, uh, the part that most people like about um, the vocal sound. And so I'll switch. This is the sound with uh, just the lavalier mic, the SM7 is turned off. So this is more of a backup microphone. Um, I could move around a little bit. It doesn't matter so much if I am directly on this uh, or not. Uh, so that's also good to have, especially since the camera has two inputs. It's nice to record that way. And they are panned out left and right. So uh, as I am uh, editing the uh, the audio, I can um, then just make it mono and I can choose how much of whichever one I want to go to both speakers at the same time, uh, or like in this demonstration, I can cut one out and just let the other one play. So as for uh, recording the video, uh, I actually use the uh, HDMI out of the Blackmagic camera and I feed it through uh, a uh, Feel World Master um, M6 monitor maybe. I'll, I'll put stuff in the description uh, about all of this gear. Uh, I run it through that so that I can uh, use the um, uh, the false color for my exposure. That's highly recommend that. Um, once I learned how to do that and what the colors meant, that's, that was the best way to to make sure that my skin tones were right and that I got the proper exposure while I was while I was recording a video. So then I have the direct out of that monitor uh, going out into a, uh, a 4K HDMI USB 3 input into my Mac mini recorder here so that all of my recording I can do uh, directly with just QuickTime on the Mac. 
saves me a lot of time as far as editing goes. Uh, looks great, sounds great, it's exactly as it would be out of the camera. And so I can see my exposure, I'm recording here, I don't have to worry about transferring a memory card or running out of space, I can let it run as long as I want. Save the file, go back, chop it up, edit, works fantastic. All right, that's all I've got for this quick video. I hope this was helpful for someone. Um, uh, certainly is helpful for me to get all of this set up uh, in a quick way so that I can um, make these videos whenever I have an idea and try to build my channel and try to teach some people uh, how to create some things. So uh, if this is your first time here, make sure that you subscribe. Uh, I'd appreciate a like. Um, it kind of shows me that uh, people enjoy what this, uh, what I'm trying to do here. Um, leave me a comment if you have any questions about any of this. I'll make sure and uh, put in the description uh, the full list of uh, all of my gear and the things that I use in case uh, you want to look into any of that further. Um, so appreciate you watching. See you next time.